hello. I'm just going to play today um, for this video. I pulled out my water brush and I pulled out two Wink of Stella's. One's a silver and one's a gold. Um, I had bought them as a three set on Amazon. And I love the clear and I use that all the time. But the silver and the gold, I don't like because it's just, it's too dark. And I'll show you what I mean. Because when you're trying to color something in, then, I mean, if you were going to do the middle of a, a flower, that would be pretty. So for some things, it looks okay. But for other things, it's just too dark. So... I just haven't found anything that I, I really like to use these for yet, but they are sparkly and pretty. So I have seen people doing this splatter technique online, so I figured I'm gonna give it a go myself. So let's start out with the silver, since that's lighter. And I wanna just see if I can, whoa, okay, we've got a lot of silver out there. Squeeze some of that out. And then I wanna squeeze a little water on there. Ooh, good, 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 good. All right, and then let's go ahead and mix that. All right, and what I, I'm seeing them doing is this. They hold this, and then they just go, oh, whoa, dude, that works. <gasps> oh, my gosh, that was so easy. No way. Oh, my goodness, I found a way to use these. That is pretty. Oh, that's funny. If you get the closer you are, the darker it is. But the farther away you are the lighter it is. That's funny. This is pretty. I like it. Ooh, I like it a lot. All righty, may as well go ahead and use all this up and we'll do this full sheet. That is really cool. I like that. I'm trying to get it all around the edges. That's really cool. Okay, and the last bit. That's really neat. So let's look at that. Oh, ho, ho, ho. <gasps> look how pretty and sparkly that is. Oh my heck, I love it. That is silver. I actually definitely like it for this. <laughs> okay, so now let's try the gold. And I'm going to do gold on the same one. So let's go ahead and squirt some of that out. Come on, I can see it coming out. There you go. All right, and then some water. And then we're going to mix that water in. I found a use for this. I love it. Okay, now I'm going to do gold on just one side. So I'll do it on this side over here. Oh, wow. Just so we can see the difference with both of them on. Oh, that's funny to get the bigger drips on there. There, and I'll hold this up in just a moment. This is really easy. I really did not believe it was that easy. I've watched people do this and it works that easy for them and I'm like, yeah, right. Okay. What aren't they telling us? Because <laughs> things just don't work that easy. But this really does. Oh my gosh, you've got to try this. That's really cool. Okay, so let's pull this up. Ooh, there's definitely silver and gold. That is really cool. Can you see the silver and gold? Not really in the camera, but you can certainly see the sparkly. I really like this. All right, so let's get some of this gold on this side. Woohoo! The grandkids are getting so excited because we're going to the timeshare this year and they are so excited because they're older now so they can do a lot more things and they can do some things on their own which they're going to love. This came out really nice. I'm impressed. I'm so glad that I pulled this out and tried this because that is gorgeous. 
I love it. And that definitely adds a sparkle. So I will definitely be doing this. You will be seeing me using this quite a bit. I am impressed. All right, so let's clean that brush up. There's a lot of color in there still. There it goes. Okay. That looks much better. Woohoo. Nice. All right. Very good. So I hope you like this splattering technique. Actually, it's more like a tapping, huh? Because you're just tapping it. So tap spritzing, I guess it is. Because <laughs> it definitely spritzes. Oh my goodness. And the color is amazing. So I hope you like this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. And until we meet again, happy crafting. Bye-bye.